it may formally be spring, but the Queen relied upon her trusty electric heater to keep himself warm in Windsor Castle on Wednesday. Her Majesty welcomed the President of Estonia for a meeting at the castle throughout her regular visit to Britain, and a mini opulent and ornate furnishings a much more practical household thing could be viewed, a small grey fan heater placed below a golden table. The plastic appliance was spotted in the background of the portraits taken of the Queen and President Kalulade. Costing as little as £30 at many high street stores, the budget appliance appears at odds with its luxurious surroundings, and has been placed next to plush striped sofas and a small table that displays a framed photo of the Queen and Prince Philip. However, similar appliances have previously been spotted within Buckingham Palace and Balmoral, proving the Queen takes a thrifty approach to keeping the rooms of her royal residences warm. Her Majesty is spending the Easter weekend at her Windsor residence, and attended the Maundy service at St George's Chapel on Thursday. The 91-year-old went to the service without the Duke of Edinburgh, who pulled out because of a problem with his hip. Buckingham Palace would not comment on the health of Philip, who was named in the order of service in anticipation of his attendance. A palace spokeswoman said, the order of service was printed some weeks ago when it was hoped the Duke would be able to take part. His Royal Highness has since decided not to attend. Every year the Queen attends a Royal Maundy service at one of Britain's cathedrals, and hands out Maundy money to male and female pensioners from local communities. This year, she attended the traditional Royal Maundy service at St George's Chapel. Windsor Castle, the same church Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have chosen for their wedding on 19 May. Around 92 men and 92 women will receive Maundy money from Her Majesty. The number of men and women chosen each year is equivalent to the Queen's age. More, see how the royals are spending the Easter weekend.